you. We've got a beautiful evening so far in downtown Greenville. We had a night of heavy thunderstorms. Big changes, though, coming to that downtown. Greenville, as you know, on its way to becoming a foodie destination. At the very least, it's a city, Amy, with a lot of good restaurants. Certainly, but as fast as the new ones come, some of them close their doors. So our Aaron Rodgers is live in downtown Greenville tonight with more on how this new company hopes to solve this recurring problem. Aaron? Well, Amy, you see signs a lot like this in downtown Greenville, but now a new consulting firm, the first of its kind in the upstate, is working to make sure when restaurants like this come to the city, they stay. Word is spreading of another restaurant closing its doors to business in downtown Greenville. The crash and burn rate for restaurants, uh, and there's people in the hospitality business uh, as a whole, is extremely high. It's why Julius Tolbert is offering something new. We don't go in just, just trying to fix any and everything. But with his two-week-old cornbread consulting firm, he is trying to fix what's broken. We really hope to change the landscape. To save the local restaurants that make downtown Greenville so unique. Keeping them from uh, hitting a lot of landmines uh, that they would hit, it could be catastrophic to their business. He says the landscape is tricky. With lots of competition, a reason why one restaurant owner told us a few months ago he had to close. Where we found ourselves was there were way too many restaurants vying for our exact clientele. But it's also a reason why some restaurants say they thrive. We're excited about new restaurants coming downtown because that means there's more people coming. That means there's another hotel going up and just more opportunity for everybody. Larkins has been a staple in downtown Greenville for 15 years. And we believe in fresh, great food and great service. Tolbert says it takes that consistency and restaurants being able to manage their profits and losses regularly. He knows because in his 20 years in the restaurant industry, he's lived it. I've been in situations some of my restaurants did not, uh, or my business ventures did not go well, but there was lessons in, in, in those things not going well. So now I'm able to teach that back. So the building I'm standing in front of has been three different restaurants in three years. One of the restaurants was owned by a larger restaurant group. Another was more locally owned. Tolbert tells me that it really doesn't matter how much money you have to put behind a restaurant if you don't have those proper tools. Live in downtown Greenville, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. Aaron, when it comes to using this new service, like if you're a restaurant, you're like, I need some advice and help and expertise. How much does it cost them? I mean, how do they how do they do that math? So they say they have all different packages to work with all of the different types of restaurants that you'll find not only in downtown Greenville, but also just across the upstate in general. But if you also want to visit them, if you feel uh, like you need this service, we do have a link to their website on our website at WSPA.com. But they're also conveniently located right in the west end of downtown. So if you are a downtown restaurant, they're pretty much your neighbor. Amy? There you go. Aaron Rodgers live tonight. Thank you.